What does a criminal defense lawyer do? Criminal defense lawyer, their job is to defend people who are brought to court or who are being prosecuted uh, in court on behalf of the government. So your job is to defend them, is to take their instructions, is to uh, cross-examine witnesses, to test the evidence that's brought into court. Uh, that is pretty much your job. There's other aspects of it too, but your, your job is to defend them and you must defend them based on the instructions that they give you. What is a criminal defense attorney? Uh, well, at, at trial, nothing convinces like conviction. You, you really have to believe in the argument you're advancing. Um, if you can't sell the judge on your argument, then what's the point? Uh, you, you, there, there must be a conviction behind what you're saying. Uh, you really have to believe in what you're saying, because if you don't, the other side, in this case, the judge, will sense there's something not there. They'll sense that there's something lacking, and they'll, they'll withdraw from your argument. And you can see that sometimes from their expressions on their faces. They have to believe that you believe in what you're saying. And if, you're if you show conviction about what you're saying, then it really does help. But if, if, if you don't have that conviction, they'll know that there's something lacking in you. And sometimes when it comes down to these cases, when you, you think about it afterwards, you don't know why you got the result or maybe you didn't, it can come down to very fine things like that. Whether they sense you believe in what you were saying. If they, if they do, maybe. If they don't, they'll depart from your argument. What does a criminal lawyer do? Uh, a good example would be a jury, a jury trial, where your client is on trial for some offence that's alleged against them. Uh, part of what you're doing there is, is picking a jury or getting a jury sworn in. And it's always good to have un an understanding of the, of the jury panel before you. For instance, if you've got uh, your client has, an, has been charged with assaulting a taxi driver, well, the last thing you want to do is to, make, is to let a taxi driver get onto the jury panel. Because if he gets onto the jury panel, he's very likely going to be biased against your client. So at trials, you have to kind of sift through the uh, occupations, the addresses of the, of the jury, and make sure that there's nothing in there that's going to be adverse to your client getting a fair trial. Do police hate lawyers? Some do. Uh, most really don't. They understand that it's, it's, it's a system, that they're doing their thing, you're doing your thing. Um, it, where, they, where people hate each other, it's usually personalities. It's usually some maybe idiot cop and some idiot lawyer, uh, who most people would regard as being idiots anyway, and their personalities clash. Those two can hate each other. But in the main, no, they don't. Because uh, they recognize that you have a job to do, I recognize that they have a job to do. I used to do their job. I do a different job now. Um, but no, hate, no, not at all. Actually, the ones, the ones that might hate would be the ones who are never in court. They just, uh, they get their, their dislike of people from watching TV shows. But the cops that are in court a lot, they understand. It's a, it's a business, it's a business environment. And sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Uh, and they're both for the grace of God go I. But hatred? No, they're usually quite pragmatic, those guys.